guys, Rick from 406. Today I want to talk about Smith & Wesson M&Ps, specifically the older models, the Gen 1, Gen 2s, uh, and their trigger reset, or lack thereof. Uh, Gen 1, Gen 2 refers to uh, the first ones produced uh, late 2000s, early 2010s. They made small improvements, uh, they changed the barrel twist rate, they changed the trigger bar and the slide stop, and that's actually the part that I really care about is the slide stop. Um, that directly affects the trigger reset, um, and the older ones, the trigger reset is super mushy, non-existent, or you would experience a false reset where it felt like the trigger had reset, but it actually didn't. Um, today I'm going to show you what I did to fix that, uh, and it was a pretty cheap modification. Um, I spent fifteen dollars maybe total um, and fifteen of that I didn't have to spend I just bought a spare slide stop just in case I screwed mine up. Uh, confident in my ability and after looking at some of the photos that people had uh, published online of what the updated uh, slide stops looked like I was pretty certain I could come close to replicating that. The results are pretty conclusive. Uh, everybody that's fired this gun pre and post upgrade uh, noticeable, noticeable upgrade. Um, the false reset and the super mushy crappy one that I had before, long gone, super super short, super crisp. Part of the shorter reset is the apex trigger. Um, uh, to be honest, if I would have done this modification first, I probably would not have bought the apex trigger um, and then all the other stuff I had to buy to go with it. Um, this is wonderful. It's super cheap, super easy to do, and I'm hopefully going to show you. I'm going to roll in some photos of what uh, a newer Gen, a Gen 3 slide stop looks like. I'm going to then slide in a photo, hopefully right about now, of me showing you what uh, the one I made versus what a stock Gen 1 or Gen 2 looks like. Pretty straightforward process, tell you how to do it. In order to do this modification, let me move the camera. You're going to need a few things. Um, I went ahead and bought an extra slide stop. Uh, this is a Gen 1, Gen 2. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Um, as you'll notice, they're perfectly smooth right here and right there that's the problem. Uh, the Gen 3 ones fix that. So what we're going to do is, this is a spare one just in case I ever want to go back to the way it was. I bought this from Speed Shooter Specialties. Uh, there is the part number. It was $10, $12, $15, something like that. Uh, super great, super quick shipping. Had it in a couple of days. Perfect. Uh, I would recommend buying one just in case uh, you screw yours up but not 100% necessary. So you need one of those. Obviously you need an M&P Gen 1, Gen 2. You'll also need some punches, a hammer of some sort, something to something to rest the gun on so you pop the punches out. Uh, there are proper tools, but use what you have. Uh, and then you're going to need some of this. JB Weld. A whopping probably quarter cents worth. Um, I will roll in how I did it here directly. Right, so, what you, for first, what you need to do is you need to fully break down the gun. So, magazine out, clear. What do you know? Okay, so next you have to go about breaking down the gun. There's lots of videos on how to do this. Uh, you can either watch those or you can watch me fumble as I take this apart. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. You can figure out how to do this on your own, but if not, you have you have two pins that really hold everything in. You have the forward pin and you have the rear pin. Both of those have to be drifted out. Then you push this pin out that just holds the trigger spring and everything into uh, place. All the guts will come out. You'll lift this rear block out 
and then this front block will come out, or you can lift this one out and then this one will come out either way. So what you really care about, uh, let me see if I can realign the camera here, so what you really care about is this right here is your trigger bar, and when you pull the trigger, you can see that it moves, and it moves the sear right there in the back, right in the middle. So when you pull the trigger, the gun goes bang, the trigger bar pushes over and the sear disconnects when the slide cycles. So when you go to reset the trigger, as you push forward, or as you, as you release, the spring tension pulls it forward, and right there, that was the reset. That was the trigger bar snapping back under the sear. So we can do it again. Boom, just like that, and the gun's ready to fire again. So this is with the improved one. We're going to show you how long it takes with the older style one. All right, continue disassembly. All right, we're back. So, fully disassembled. So here we have the trigger, trigger spring, trigger bar. Pretty dirty, probably should clean it. Um, oh well. So, here we go. So this is my modified slide release. So what you have is some JB weld, which has held up pretty well so far on this side of the slide release. So I'm going to grab the other, the original. So side by side. So on top is the original, on the bottom is the modified. So this is where all that goodness comes into place. So right there you can see the bottom one I've built up with a layer of JB weld and what that does is I'll roll in the other photos of of what the modified ones. So the Gen 1 and Gen 2's look like this and what they did they ended up just brazing or adding a little piece of metal right here and what that does is it forces the trigger bar over sooner. So, so just like this, this is your trigger bar and it moves back and forth when it's under spring tension, but it, it pushes against the slide stop. So by pushing, by putting a little piece of metal right there, what you're really doing is you're forcing the trigger bar this direction, you're forcing it inward towards the magazine well. And what that does is it puts tension on it, so when this piece right here is riding against the sear. The sear has a gap and as soon as this piece can fit back under it, it literally, it's, it's under tension because this is being bent like this, it will snap back under. And that's where the trigger reset on this particular gun comes from. Uh, the older models, because it doesn't have this, there's nothing pushing against it. It takes forever because it has to travel the entire length before it can push back under because it doesn't have any tension. So I'm going to put this old one back in and I'm going to show you what it's like and then we're going to put the new one back, the modified one in and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, we're back. So, quick disassemble. So this is the original slide stop. So if you Alright, we're back. So, let's see if I can do this while standing behind the camera. So, here's what the original slide stop in. So when you pull the trigger, you can see the trigger bar moves, and you can see the sear moves. So, you, go, you press the trigger, bang, it goes off, the sear, the trigger bar is disconnected from the sear. You see where the sear drops down? So, See if we can get it to focus. It's dark in there. There we go. So sears disconnected. So as we release the trigger, you see the trigger bar move. So to to 
have the trigger fully reset. What you do is you let go of the trigger. See it travel, 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 travel. And right there. You can barely hear it. Let's try it again. That was it. That was the trigger bar resetting, and then you could press the trigger again, lather, rinse, repeat. Bang, gun goes off. Trigger bar gets disconnected under the from under the sear. Goes forward, goes forward, click. Barely there. You can see how far this has to move before it snaps over. Alrighty. And then you can see. that there's nothing Let's see if we can get it to focus nothing here on this slide stop so one more for good measure boom that was it alright let's put the other one in and see what that sounds like so we got the new and improved slide release installed alright so we'll go back to that angle that we were doing before so We'll put side by side comparison to these guys. So, sear move, or trigger bar moves the sear, and now we've got additional pressure right here, right where the slide stop is. Okay, so, trigger's pulled, trigger bar is disconnected. Now, you can hear and see how much shorter it is. So, you can, he you can see right there how much faster it doesn't have to it doesn't travel as far which isn't necessarily the important part the important part is the part that you can hear so slide that out see if we can get it to focus there we go so it travels boom how much louder that was how much more force that had way easier way easier super super simple mod so all again I'll, I'll reiterate what you need obviously you need a set of punches to be able to fully disassemble this you need JB weld pretty easy to use read the directions you need a slide stop this is the spare unmodified one in case I ever want to go back to original or if I ever sold the gun or whatever I put it back to the way it was. So you need one of those. You need some JB weld. You'll need a little bit of sandpaper. I used emery cloth um, because you're going to want to rough up that that surface a little bit so JB weld has something to stick to or else it'll just slide right off. Um, and that's really it. Set of punches, hammer, uh, Vice block would be good, something something that you could knock the pins out. You can use a roll of duct tape. That's what I've used. I use the roll of electrical tape right now because I can't find a large roll of duct tape. Super simple. Way, way better uh, than before. The original sucked. Um, I would highly recommend this to anybody. It costs just about nothing. I already had JB Weld because um, you always, always need some JB Weld. See if we can get it to focus. Kind of hard. See how much more authoritative that reset is? It actually pushes your finger forward. The old one didn't. The original slide stop you could get to about halfway and it would feel like, I can't even do it with this one. You would feel like you'd reset and you'd pull the trigger and nothing. Boom. Life's way better. Easy peasy. You're welcome. You guys have a good day.